Hey there, feller. Heard you're a grave digger. Said you buried a few famous people. Buy your drink? Cognac! Top show! I'm ready to go, Dad. All right, Tommy, you hold your pants on. I want to go with you, Daddy, please. I'll bring you back something special. And maybe that gingham dress I picked out? No. Nope. Maybe? They call themselves the Rufus Buck Gang. Some say that they were senseless killers. Group off, please! Some say they were haunted by wild spirits. All right, some federal marshals. Their reign of terror began with the old Palmer family. One of the Palmers, she's gone. Heck, he wants to find her before something worse happens. Let them send their best. We gonna take them fools out too, and we's gonna get this back in blood. Marshal Heck Thomas! This God is my witness. We will see justice done. We're gonna trail them boys to wherever they're holed up, and then I'm gonna set an ambush for them. Go ahead and turn around for me. The great Heck Thomas. You're gonna be remembered as a murdering coward. You're gonna have to be remembered as a man who gets done in by Rufus Buck. Buck murdered that old man. Never give up this fight. Wanted by the masses, they can never get enough. A rebel, so, so you can never be this guy. What's so special about this Rufus? They think he's destined to be a great leader. I'm gonna make y'all kings of this new world. Anything y'all want, it's gonna be yours for the taking. This ends now. Remain over in a game. Well, how does it end? Was there some big gunfight or something? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy. Get your money's worth. Boom, there you go. That was a trailer for The Night They Came Home, arriving in theaters on demand, digital, January 12th. I'm Kuyi P. This is Nerds World World. And as you see on the screen, I have the infamous uh rufus buck up in the place is it rufus buck i think it's rufus buck who is charlie townsend a, a yes. new cat who's going to be taking over the world i know you're, you're 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 our lead bad guy in this you run the rufus buck gang um i was just checking out your imdb charles man i'm ready to see you kill it man um it's a pleasure to take you for your time today man how are you feeling right now the vibe i'm feeling great i'm feeling great thanks for having me kia Appreciate you, dude. So yeah, man, January 12th, your 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 project's gonna be out there. You put in the work. Uh, I see you got some other projects coming, but you're still fairly new to the game. Uh, what yeah. was it like booking this gig uh, that is putting you on a spotlight now, man? Uh, yeah. how, how do you feel and, and you know, with everything? It feels great. Um, I, you know, booking this was, it was funny because uh, I think I originally got it and it, it didn't really tell me much about it when I first got the audition. It was just, uh, I was just auditioning for an uh, uh, Indian gang member. And uh, so I was like, okay, let me, I'll throw my hat into that. And then I, and then they gave me the audition and it was a cold read. So going into, it, I didn't even, I didn't even have a script. I didn't have any sides. It didn't know what I was going to be doing. And I get there and I'm, I find out I'm reading for, for Rufus and, uh, and then the funny thing is I booked it and I didn't even know I booked Rufus. I thought I booked one of the other gang members because the, because originally the thing said Lewis on whatever it said, it said Lewis or one of the gang members. And I thought I booked Lewis. So like a few days had gone by, I'm like, pre you know, preparing for Lewis. And then I get a call from the producers like, Hey, you know, we're going to be shooting this and that. And I was like, cool. So anything I should know about Lewis? He's like, Lewis, <laughs> he, he's like, you're, you're Rufus. I'm like, Oh, okay i guess that that changes some things up then right so uh yeah it was it's you know it's it, you, you just never know in the, in this world right yo that's that's so real uh i'm actually an actor myself as well actor filmmaker so i know this awesome. journey and as uh, uh as an actor and person of color as well how kind of like the industry is in different ways we, we get like get, i get gang member roles all the time i used to be on america's most wanted and you just never know and then all of a sudden you find out oh no you're the this cat so like i completely right. relate with your story so uh not about me but like i i feel you um but bless bro congrats that, bless. that's amazing so you find out you're this cat it's inspired by true events from what i saw um so you're you're in it you're you're in it, in it. how did you prepare what was that like uh, and now I'm assuming now when you're reading the sides, okay, now I know that I, I've got to be, you know, Rufus Buck or, you know, how was that? You know, just to prep and just 
you know, be Rufus Buck and run this gang? You know, the biggest prep, uh, I think, was just kind of finding justification for what I'm doing in the film. You know, I think that was that was the biggest thing, which was, you know, he's because he's he's they're going on this ruthless rampage throughout the whole movie. And it, it was just hard to find why anyone would care about this guy. So I that was my biggest prep was like finding a finding a way for the audience members to actually relate to him without them feeling like, ew, you know, let me let me turn this movie off. This guy is just gone. He's he's a murderer. Let's you know who wants to watch that, right? So it was just it was finding the the motivation to as to why like this is right and what I feel is what I'm doing is for the best. I feel that exactly. Because the best villains you, you, you actually want to root for the villain in a way. Right. You understand why they're doing what they're doing. So tell me about Rufus Buck and running the Rufus Buck gang. Uh, you know, his motivation and why he's doing what he's doing. And, and working against Brian Austin Green, who is, I guess, the titular hero in this. And Danny Trejo. Two big legends, man. That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's it's fun. You know, it's working with the gang. Um, I feel like we just had a good camaraderie. You know, we 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 all from the instant we stepped in, you know, we we knew when to put in some good laughs in. So you just felt like they're they're kids, right? Like they they laugh at things that you really don't need to be laughed at. You know, they're making jokes when you really don't need to make a joke there. But it's funny because it's they're kids. Um, and then just working with Brian and working with Robert Carradine, working with Danny Trejo, you know, idols, guys that I grew up watching and that I still watch to this day. So. You know, just in just it was all almost like a dream come true in a sense. But at the same time, we we got work to get done, and and we got to make some entertaining film. So, got you. So your character, like, were you familiar with uh, gun work? One of the things I love about action films and in westerns too, time period films. Um, what was right. that like getting into costume? Uh, did you already like know how to ride a horse, or did they have like a, a any any prep? Uh, which is always kind of fun when you're on a project that's kind of a uh, you know, a specific genre based type film. You know, at this film, we didn't get much, we didn't get much prep. We, we didn't even get a table read going into it, you know, and we shot it all in like nine days. So, I mean, coming into it, it was, uh, it was all pretty much a question mark as to like, you know, like what, how, like, how are we going to be shooting the guns? Or how many, how much of the horse are we going to be on? So when we got there, they were like, yeah, we're going to have you on the horse. And uh, we, we had a really good Wrangler and he, he definitely helped to prepare. He was, he showed us, he's like, he was a smaller guy and he just hopped right on it. And he's like, look, you're on a horse, no matter what happens, what the horse does, you keep acting. So that was just something I kept, I kept in the back of my mind, you know, cause there's a few scenes where the horse kind of wants to buck a little bit and I'm in the middle of the line, but yeah. I kept with it. And those are some of the, actually the best shots. And you, and you see that uh, I have an acting coach used to tell me that, that those are called gifts, you know, when those kind of things happen, it was a gift because, you know, you, anything that's predictable is never usually fun. So when it's something unpredictable happens, it's on, it's, it's actually quite, quite fun. Um, so yeah, it was just more or less just, uh, just being comfortable and just being comfortable. We, they never, they didn't ask too much out of us. You know, we, we had to ride the horses, but they didn't ask us to, you know, to race the horses or anything. So. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's especially nine days, not a lot of prep, no table read. That's yeah. when, when that's, it's like they cast you, they trust you. That's, that shows a lot of trust and belief yeah. in the gifts to, to follow up with what you're like. You, they, they saw the, they, they, they cast you and they saw something and you brought those gifts and and when you you work in you 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 put the the action plan in effect uh you know you kill yeah. it and you guys killed it man and that yeah. that shows a lot what did you learn for yourself that you did because of this experience you know so like while you can you know get the production team to believe in you for yourself what what lessons learned are you taking as an actor and now cuz you're about to go up these charts man people are going to see you in the night they came home and i see these other projects along the way man your star is rising uh, what are you taking with you from this experience uh on other future projects you know um i think you know every each day is is a learning experience right and in this film was a major learning experience. I think I think it's just taking comfortability and taking in preparation. You know, that's a big thing is just to take the prep, you know, prepare yourself, know your lines, all that. That I mean, that's the that's the the the, the number one for most actors. But 
uh, you know, mostly it's just taking away the fact that, you know, it, it, it's possible, you know, you know, before going into it, you know, you always have these question marks of like, you know, like, Hey, when I step on set with these big name actors, am I gonna, am I gonna, you know, get too nervous or this or that? And, and then you get there and you're like, no, you know what, this is, it's another day, you know, it's another day in the office. And you just learn that you're like, it's, it's doable. I love that. I love that energy, man. Uh, it's all repetition. The more work you do, that that's why like I'm so very comfortable with anybody I talk to now. Uh, because reps. hey, man, they're all doing the same thing. It's all reps, acting. You put in the work, uh, and you're yeah. gonna. You, I, I can't wait to see your star unfold, brother. As you blow up, please come Thank back you. as these other projects happen, man. But before that's I let it. you go, and before we like promote anything else you got coming up, um, tell everybody why they see need to, need to see the night they came home when it drops on January 12th everywhere. January 12th, you got to see it. It's it, it, one word to say, and it, it's different. It's it's going to give you a perspective that films have not been giving in in any Western film. They just haven't given you this perspective from from the side of these uh, these people of color. You just don't get that perspective in a Western. So go out and see it if you want to see something different that you haven't seen yet. I love it, my man Charlie Townsend, uh, Charles Townsend. Yes. The night they yes. came home. Uh, what else uh, can we look forward to you in? You know, I caught a little bit. I can't remember what I saw. It was on IMDb. You had, a, uh, what was the project? The Wraith, I believe, coming up soon yes. or in post-production. Uh, and That's just how can post. people keep keep track of you online to just show love and support, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did Charlie Townsend, the IMDb, Charlie N. Townsend as well. Um yeah, the the Wraith is coming. I'm not too sure when that's coming out, but I have another project in the, in the works. I'm not sure if I can quite mention that one yet either, but yeah, it's uh, it's just keep an eye out. There's a lot of things in, in the in the works. I love it. Well, I'm gonna put all your links so people can follow you, check you out, and when those projects Thanks, drop, man, please come back through. Let's talk so I can give you your Will flowers, do. bro. Will do. All right, my man Charlie Townsend. The night they came home, arriving on January 12th everywhere. Check it out. I'm gonna have all the links in the description below. It's your boy Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. There's the record. Okay. We're rocking and rolling recording. I'm going to do a three, two, one count, Charles, and we'll get right into it, my brother. Awesome. Appreciate you. All right. Here we go in a one, two, three.